Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to scan any website for vulnerabilities. And I'm going to do so by uh, the Nick Toe uh, tool. I'm going to talk a little bit about it. And look, okay, I'm going to provide somewhat of an example, but not the example. <laughs> you guys want me to show you how to hack so bad. Nah. Finally, an explanation. I ain't going to do it because this is for educational purposes only. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So this is a favorite uh, on, you know, the hacker community. It's called the Nikto website scanner. And you scan your website and server immediately, you know, with this popular Nikto web scanner. Now this testing service uh, can be used as a test website, virtual host and web server for known security vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. Okay, Nikto performs over 6,000 tests against a website. The large number of tests for both security vulnerabilities and misconfigured web servers makes it a go-to tool for many security professionals and system administrators. It can find forgotten scripts and other hard to detect problems for an external perspective. So before we continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. All right. So how do you perform a Nikto website scan? You're going to want to first by selecting the target address to scan and targets can be entered individually or as a list for bulk uploads. And Peter, you can put that example on the screen. Okay. Because all you guys keep saying, you don't give examples. <laughs> You don't give examples. Well, here's an example for your butt, okay? Here's an example for your butt. Peter, put somebody on, put somebody annoyed on the screen, rolling their eyes. Mm, so annoyed with you guys. I always want examples. Okay, so you can put this on the screen, Peter, the website. So now you're going to want to be testing virtual hosts with Nikto. If your web server hosts multiple sites using virtual hosts, you should test each virtual host using Nikto to get greater vulnerability coverage. In fact, it, you know, it can be helpful to scan the IP addresses as well as the host name of the server to ensure all paths are tested for any vulnerable web applications and scripts. Now, there is somewhat of a lengthy uh, Nikto runtime. So due to the number of security checks that this tool performs, a scan can take up to an hour or even longer depending on the speed of your trash web server. Yeah, I said it, your trash web server. So you're going to, oh, just kidding. You're going to also uh, want to keep in mind uh, false positives with the Nikto, right? Nikto does quite well in detecting web server configurations that return HTTP 200 OK on actual page not found results. Since Nikto is checking hundreds of URLs for the presence of old scripts, vulnerable applications, and other problems. This can sometimes result in many false positives if the detection of the 404 to 200 is not discovered by Nikto. It is not difficult to spot as you will receive great deal of invalid URLs as positives. These are easily checked manually to ensure they are actual fa false positives. Okay, so I don't, I don't want y'all to be watching wilding on folks, right? Because no, no, be be careful. There may be some false positives. So. Let's talk a little bit about the open source of the Nikto tool. So the Nikto web server scanner is a security tool that will test a website for thousands of possible security issues, including dangerous files, misconfigured services, vulnerable scripts, and other issues. Now, it is open source and structured with plugins that extend the capabilities. These plugins are frequently updated with new security checks. Nikto is by no means a stealthy tool, okay? It, it, it's not that kind of tool. Uh, it will make over 2000 HTTP get requests to the web server, creating a large number of entries in the web server's log files. This noise is actually an excellent way to test in, you know, an in place intrusion detection system that is in place. Any web server log monitoring host based intrusion detection, also known as HIDS or network based intrusion detection, also known as NIDS should detect a net go scan. So that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Also hit the, you know, hit the notification bell so you know when I release new videos. Also share this content so we can have this conversation at a broader scale. I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate you watching and comment. See you in the next video.